Now, speaking of, let's circle back to Joe Scarborough. Let's listen to this to this genius, to this Antonin Scalia of MSLSD. You can't miss him. He's the slow-talking, barely literate numbskull. Cut seven, go. The president is breaching constitutional norms once again. You, you, other than Richard Nixon, you cannot find in America's wonderful 240-year history the president of the United States ordering the Justice Department to investigate an investigation that pertains to the president himself. Really? Really? You must not be familiar with the Robert Kennedy Justice Department, genius. You must not be familiar with Robert Kennedy and his, his dealings with J. Edgar Hoover. Robert Kennedy agreeing to the bugging of Martin Luther King's phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen. All the cover-ups that took place. Remember with Monroe? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, there's never been anything like this with the president of the United States ordering an investigation that pertains to him. He's not ordering an investigation that pertains to him. He ordered an investigation that pertains to us. He wants to know what was done in the last campaign, doofus. And we have a right to know whether you like it whether the people who give you your paycheck for which you've sold out like it, whether the corporation that owns your, your show likes it, Comcast. And by the way, I'm sick as hell of this Comcast, too. Can I tell you something on the side, ladies and gentlemen? I've got multiple TVs in the, uh, in the live-in household. Multiple TVs. So I dared to replace some of them with new TVs and hang some of them on the wall. Look pretty good. I said, hey, what the hell? What the hell? And uh, these geniuses that own MSLSD and NBC, I think it's still Comcast, isn't it, Rich? Took five visits from technicians to get them to work. Five. The last guy was great, old Sam. Sam knew what the hell he was doing. But Muhammad and uh, Magatma and the other one, they didn't know a damn thing. And got to call my uh, supervisor. On the phone, the whole, he said, well, it doesn't. Uh, had another guy sitting on the front steps. I think we need more uh, juice in the house. So we got enough juice in the house. Yeah, maybe you have too many TVs on the system. How do I know? That's you to tell me that. And you know what I'm paying? $450 or $60 a month. And the only show I can get on one of the screens where I do a little exercise every day uh, on the TV is uh, First Take with Stephen A. Other than that, I can't watch any TV, can't watch any shows, can't watch nothing. Nothing. He will send in a technician. Five and a half hours. This is the company that owns MSLSD and pays this slob, Joe Scarborough. Joe Scarborough knows no history, doesn't know the Constitution. Mika tells him what to say the night before. Go ahead. That is an abuse of power. That is a breaching of constitutional norms under any standards. And if it uh, no, 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 dummy. It's not a breach of constitutional norms under any standards whatsoever. You wouldn't know a tyranny if it smacked you in your bulbous nose, would you? With the eyes close together, with the WC fields. No, I, I, I mean, obviously, Mika sees. All right. I'll be right back. Mark Lovin.